So right after Lai Kinson announced his resignation as head coach of Ghana's under-17 side, popularly known as the Black Starlets, well, the Ghana Football Association has also released a statement to that effect. And the press release that was issued by the Ghana Football Association had some issues that they accused Lai Kinson of. And we are going to get into the details of every bit of the sentences that the GFA issued in their statement because they had to come back and make corrections to that same uh, article that they released on Lai Kinson's resignation as head coach of the Black Starlet. So we'll get into the details in a very short moment. But before that, please subscribe to the channel, like, share, and don't forget to leave a comment. So let's get right into it and start off with what led us here. So yesterday, the Black Starlets took on Burkina Faso in the semi-final of the Wafu Zone B under 17 football tournament. Now, Ghana lost the game by two goals to one to Burkina Faso. And right after the game, Coach Lai Kinson came to the press conference and announced that he is resigning as head coach of the Black Starlets team. Well, the Black Starlets defeat to Burkina Faso means that they won't be going to the under-17 African Cup of Nations tournament, which is scheduled for 2025. Well, Lai Kinson said that he was not going to continue even if the Black Starlets had made it to the U-17 AFCON. So he announced his resignation after his press conference. Well, so this morning, the GFA released a statement to the effect about Lai Kinson's resignation as head coach of the Black Starlets. And I want us to get right into it and analyze the statement that the GFE issued. They issued two statements. They issued the first one, then they came back to make corrections to the first statements that they issued. So let's read the statement. It says that press statements, rejoinder, Lai Kinson. The Ghana Football Association has taken note of the decision of the head coach of the national under-17 team, the Black Starlets, Lai Kinson, to leave the team following his behavior after the Wafu Zone B under 17 qualifier semi final match against Burkina Faso on 25th May 2024. Lai Kinson's decision has been supported by his subsequent actions. Coach Kinson announced to the players and the coaching staff that he has resigned whilst using inappropriate language. He subsequently said same in his post match press conference. Coach Kinson also got off the team bus whilst the team was on its way to the team hotel. He failed to attend the team's evening meeting with the management committee and has since not reported to the team hotel. For the third place playoff match between Ghana and Nigeria scheduled for Tuesday, 28 May 2024, the current assistant coaches will take charge with support and from the technical director of the GFE end. So that is the statement that the GFE released. Now, let's break down the statement one after the other, starting off with the first paragraph. It says that the Ghana Football Association has taken note of the decision of the head coach of the national under-17 team, the Black Starlets, like it to leave the team following his behavior after the waffle under 17 qualifiers and final match against Burkina Faso on 25th May 2024. What did Lai Kinson do? What behavior did he show? And uh, they are saying that Lai Kinson resigned due to his behavior. So the GFA, first of all, is putting it out there that Lai Kinson, this is why Lai Kinson is resigning. They are put, giving us the reason why they think Lai Kinson is resigning. Meanwhile, the coach hasn't told us or he, I would say he told us that he is resigning because he has even told his team or technical team that even if they qualify to the AFCON, he will still resign. But here, the GFA is saying that Lykinson is resigning due to his behavior. Well, that is the first paragraph. Let's go to the second statement. It says that Lykinson's decision has been supported by his subsequent actions. Subsequent, bro, for get subsequent. Uh, it means that this following, Lykinson's decision to resign is because of this following things that he did. 
So let's go to the things that Larry Kinson did, and that leads us to the state's uh, statement. It says that Coach Kinson announced to the players and the coaching staff that he has resigned whilst using inappropriate language. Again, the GFA is accusing Larry Kinson that he used inappropriate language. Which inappropriate language did he use? Unpredictable words? Did he use abusive words? Did he insult anyone? What did Larry Kinston actually say? Is this necessary in a press statement that you are releasing to the public? You are saying that Larry Kinston used inappropriate language. I think the writer of this statement was in his emotions, he was really into his emotions and wrote this statement because if the person was into his emotions, he wouldn't have come back to um, retract that statement and make corrections. Now we've done, we are done with the third point. Now let's move to the fourth point. He says that he subsequently said in same in his post-match press conference. He subsequently said same in his post-match press conference. That means you like Kinson use inappropriate language in his um, press uh, press conference with the media. I will play the video for you so that you analyze for yourself and make your own judgment because I know viewers are very discerning whether Larry Kissing used inappropriate language in the press conference. Now, you can't accuse a man when there is evidence. Let's go on. Coach Kissing also got off the team bus while the team was on its way to the team hotel. Is this a statement that we are supposed to know? Is this something that we are supposed to know or not? Because I felt like Larry Kinson, when he was speaking at the press conference, also had a lot to say, but he kept it within himself. So they are accusing Larry Kinson again for getting out of the team bus while they were on their way to the team hotel. Then the statement also goes on to say that he failed to attend the team's evening meeting with the management committee and has since not reported to the team hotel. With this one, I side with the GFA. Even if you've resigned, at least you have to. Uh, submit your report and all that. But like Kinson wasn't at the team's evening meeting with the management committee and has since not reported to camp. And the last statement says that due to like Kinson's resignation, they are going to let the assistant uh, coaches take charge of the third place match. And this is the statement that the GFA issued earlier on. Then they came back about two hours later to later make corrections to the statement that they issued. So let me re uh, read the new statement that the GFA issued. It says that the Ghana Football Association has taken note of the decision of the head coach of the National Under-17 team, the Black Starlets, Larry Kinson, to leave the team following his behavior after the Wafu Zone B qualifier semi-final match against Burkina Faso on 25th May 2024. Then again, they are still accusing Larry Kinson. Then the second statement says that Larry Kinson's Decision has been supported by his subsequent actions. The same statement, the same two paragraphs like the old one. Now, the third paragraph, that's where the changes are. It says that Coach Kinson announced to the players and the coaching staff that he has resigned. This time, they didn't say he used inappropriate language. Now, the person who wrote it has come back to his senses and says that they didn't, he didn't use inappropriate language. He goes on to say in the next paragraph, saying that he subsequently said same in the post-match press conference. Coach Kinson also got off the team bus whilst the team was on its way to the team hotel. Okay. He failed to attend the team's evening meeting with the management committee and has since not reported to the team hotel. The GFA duly accepts Lai's resignation. This one was not part of the first statement. At the first one, they didn't accept his resignation. Now, you come back and say that, like Kinson, you've accepted his resignation. We accept that. Then, they add the final one where they said that the third match is going to be uh, handed by the assistant coaches and the technical department of the GFE. So, the third place match against Nigeria, they would see who would lead the team out of the dugout. But, before we go, let's take a listen to what Larry Kinson had to say at the press conference so that we can deduce from that and make our judgment. I I don't like talking about myself. I don't like talking about myself, but for once, I will do that. I will do that. I like talking about my technical team and I always use we, 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 we. But this time, I will talk about myself. 
I will talk about myself. I know Ghanaians know me as a player. Ghanaians know the work and everything that I gave to this country as a player. I gave my all and I will continue doing that. I have uh, everything I want to do for this country, I give my all as a player. But, but at the end, I wasn't happy as a player. I focus more on my coaching career, educate myself well, to make sure I come back and change the narrative. And change the narrative. The investment I put in myself, all because I want to change something in Ghana football. And for me, for these six, seven months, I've given my all. I've done my part as a technical person, as a coach. I've done my part for that. And after the Russia, after we came back from Russia, that's when I decided either we win, we qualify, I'm moving on. So in this case, I'm resigning. After this tournament, I'm resigning as an executive coach. I've made that decision already before this tournament starts. The explanation will come out later. So that is what Likinson had to say. Do you think that he got it all wrong or the GFA are accusing him forcefully? Well, we'll monitor the grounds and bring you up to speed on anything that happens. Until then, my name is Joseph Adamafio. Thanks for doing the watching. Please subscribe, like, share, and don't forget to leave a comment. I'll see you in the next one. I'm out.